Hello, am I audible? Yes, have a good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you? How is everything going on? Mm, up to now, everything is good. But That's I nice. can't say what will be in next hour. <laughs> That's good to know that. So, how are you? How uh, <laughs> have we met before, or is this the first time we are meeting? What would you like to do today? Should we talk on the sessions topic, or should we talk on random things? What do you prefer? Random things. Okay. So, what else would you like to talk on? So, hmm. You choose. I don't have any idea because you speak. I think you would be speaking with many people, so you must have idea. Okay, how to talk with a stranger? How to talk in new no student? So no, not really. Not an expert. <laughs> Still not an expert. Yeah. So since how long so, you are on this on this platform? Uh, one point five years. Oh, oh, so I think you must have the, the idea, and you must would have experience, mm -hmm. right? A little bit, but not a lot. No, it's it's very different. Like everyone is very very different. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you a YouTuber by any chance? Because I think I've seen you. <laughs> yeah. Really, on on clapping for YouTuber? Yeah, I am. A, I'm not a YouTuber. I, I I don't have that much subscribers. What kinds of video have you seen? I don't know. Like I just think that I've seen you somewhere. I like it's the the face is very similar. So I'm just trying to figure out where I have I seen you. And the only thing that is connecting right now is YouTube. Or maybe you must have been in Pune or something. I don't know. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I I don't have that much. I I I have video on YouTube regarding fitness and clapping go session. So I don't think you would have seen. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I don't know. So, um, uh, tell me more about the fitness journey. What made you motivated to join the fitness realm? Yeah. Uh, motivation is when you love doing, okay, what you do. Right. And when you see uh, huge changes in. So you were so saying I something said, about motivation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I said, when you do the things which you love doing, and when you see the result, the output of that work, you feel motivated, mm. right? Yeah. And uh, the fitness is the things that you are not working for someone else. You are working for yourself, your own body. Okay, and uh, when you keep yourself fit, active, productive, uh, attractive, we can see. I think uh, people will motivate you. People say, "Oh, your fitness is so beautiful. You are so active. How 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 you are so active? What do you do?" Right. So people admire you. Yeah. So when we get compliment from people so i think we you know we on cloud nine we, yes. <laughs> we feel so happy and that things take us to the next level that's amazing yeah so um no the, the reason i'm i'm asking you is why fitness like that is the question like out because of all, I... all the other things that people are interested in why fitness like that it's in interesting to know why people choose yes, certain fields sure. yeah. that's a great question because what people did they do they are running getting education you know completing their college school they are you know all formal education they look for they look for job right and also i did same thing <laughs> everyone uh, but, does that everyone. yes yes and that i think that's necessary that's mm -hmm. necessary so that you learn from how you can manage your work uh, how you can okay uh, handle your time money these all things until unless you cannot handle other people resources you won't be able to handle 
your own resources. Right? Yeah. So God given everybody first job. So he can see how are you able to do that job or not. And then he will give you the, your own job if you are looking for your own business. So if you are not performing good in the job which you are doing for other people, then don't God will won't trust you that you can handle whatever job or business or uh, whatever your you are supposed to do, right? So that is why it's necessary after completing your schooling, your college education, we, we must find a job. And once you learn those all things, how to manage things, how to manage money, how to manage time, how to manage our you know, household work, you learn those things. And once you learn, if you want to uh, step, uh, if you want to step back from those kinds of, we can say, uh, rat race, bhir ke chalo mein chalna. When you understand those all things, if you want to separate yourself from the majority of the people, you can separate and uh, you can make your own life. You can make your own decision. You can make your own future. And that's what I did. First, I learned, okay, after coming from my native place to Delhi, I, I, I mentioned I stay in Delhi, right? And when I came to Delhi, I, I was totally, you know, thought oh how people are so busy in their life how many okay how they are using you know a very very valuable time and before that i was just roaming unnecessary with a friend gossiping with people doing party unnecessary watching tv watching social uh, watching youtube that things i was doing that has nothing to do with my future Right. Yeah. So when I came, so when I came to Delhi, I thought, oh, that. And one thing I found, oh, every but when I used to go to office, I thought, oh, how the traffic is on the road to everywhere, you know, tra traffic, cars, motorcycle, and I feel like, oh, is this a life call? Going to job, coming to home, eating, having your dinner, watching television, sleep again, waking up, having breakfast mm -hmm. again, going to job. I was feeling like, no, I think I'm making my life meaning, meaningless. Right. So I was not feeling good. I, I learned many things while I getting job, how to communicate with people, how to have patience. Okay. How to respond to someone that knowledge i don't had when i used to stay in my hometown it was not good I, uh, obviously i learned a lot from those their place but i thought I, I don't feel like i if i will work here in corporate field for next 10 years 20 years how much would by would i be able to make money okay i i can make maximum 50k 70k or even one lakh rupees after 10 years or 20 years but I think 25% of amount will be goes to where tax, right? And how much I will be keeping. And then in 25, in 75%, I will, I have to take the save money for the myself and on the other I have to spend money for my household work. So I was saving very little money and I had come here to you know, save money uh, to help my family. And I, I, I think I, I was unable to save a good amount of money. So I thought, on the other hand, I was not liking the job, what I used to do. So I thought I, I have to separate myself from the rat race, you know? So I, I, I had a habit of working out every single day. And by the grace of God, I, I, one of the best habit I can consider in myself, I don't listen song often while working out or while uh, mm, driving while uh, I can say working out while driving. Well, if I while cooking also, I don't listen song. I listen motivational speeches, audio books, podcast, right? So these things, okay, made separate. And the speaker was saying, okay, one day I was working out, and the speaker was saying that if you want to make your life meaningful, 
blissful you know enjoyable then you have to forget about the money and you have to get into the work that you love doing mm. right because when you do the things when you love doing you give your heart soul intuition everything into that work and when you put those all things you 100% 110% i the output of that work will be tremendous right and when the output of that work will be tremendous the money people knowledge everything will be drawn towards you because you are doing fantastic job in your field and that things make you very famous or rich if you want to be rich if you want to be famous if you want to be well known in your things so yeah that is why i do not want to run in rat race and i am happy from my life i am happy from my work i am happy from my income this day and uh, i am happy from my time also i have time i have saved time to you know uh, learn something good i save money to invest i have money to uh, buy the things that i want to buy and uh, i have a wonderful life obviously okay that's interesting it seems like you know you like to explain everything in detail that's great that i don't know what to say yeah but it makes sense yeah so uh, what else would you like to talk on we were talking a lot about motivational things so, so let me ask you something yeah. I, i want to know about you right <laughs> so uh, what do you do by profession what is your main uh i just started as a data analyst i'm an engineer so i'm working okay. in the data domain right now so yeah okay, that's okay. all i mean like uh, there's nothing interesting as such because you have a lot of interesting things going on like investing and meeting people and all that i don't have anything interesting honestly so you can just clap and go and be job okay 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 so i i think you are kinds of introvert ambivert yeah i like to listen more sometimes yeah than talk yeah. and uh, do you have friends friends oh, of course everyone has friends right yeah okay okay cool. so how do you consider your life after 10 year 20 year what do you see i only see right now the technological perspective of it that i'm not seeing my life as such of 20 years okay. or 30 years i'm just trying to figure uh-huh. out how technology will be in like next 5 to 10 years because things are changing tremendously and it's very hard for us to keep up so the best thing is to be adaptable and not to think so much this is something my theory is there but yeah you can have your own watching a uh, youtube and uh, have you heard of vivek vindra i think so yes yeah bada business vivek vindra i heard the name i cannot recall what it is but yeah, i have heard the name like it will come you are thinking yeah. next in yeah. 2015 in 2015 the people will own to marry the work of female will, uh, the work of male and female will be you know totally diminished because uh, robots will be coming and the all household work office work okay will be handled by those robots and everything will be in a, right now we do have a cell phone right the the magnitude of cell phone will be totally changed like we have atm a debit card okay that would be our um, we can say bank balance or data everything you will find every day, even we will work on that um, card we will own carry our laptop or desktop like that right yeah. so mm-hmm. i i don't know let's see what is going to... so yeah. do you think the te- technology uh, that we are right now gadgets technology what we are using that in distracting people that is taking people away from the meaningful life what do you think i honestly believe that even before that people don't had a very meaningful life we are humans we don't mm-hmm. have a lot of meaningful life like even i was a person who used to read a lot of books 
so even at that time there was cell phone people weren't addicted to cell phones so <laughs> the re- the meaning is added by our like your life has meaning because of fitness like something this is something which i'm trying to understand yeah. <laughs> we we add meaning by the things that we do or we love so it's not like technology is hampering it's just that uh, it's it's a two edged sword i don't know it's doing good also and it's doing bad at the same time but it's not like we had a lot of meaningful life before technology so that is something that i feel okay so <laughs> do you think that technology is stealing okay valuable time from people it's increasing the lifeline of people if you will see statistically i i i am a person who is pro technology so i won't be saying a lot of bad things about it uh, because i'm i'm from that background right so i have a biased opinion on it so i'm not going to say something like oh technology is bad or something like that because i no, no, i'm not saying that, that right <laughs> so yeah no. even if it is yeah so i'm going to have like a very biased opinion on it so this is something yeah 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 i have to nothing is you know uh, good or bad yeah we don't uh, look at the things uh, as they are we look at the things as we are right mm. so whatever exists in this world those are not good or bad if yeah. you are if you are using that things the way that things is so if you are uh, using the way they are not then this is bad you know alcohol smoking and uh, uh, we can say gambling these are not bad but if you are doing this thing excessively mm. you know consistently then it is bad using a cell phone is not using a social media or uh, youtube or cell phone uh, is not bad if you are using excessively that means after leaving your valuable work uh, valuable task your assignment you are give, devoting your whole time on the social media and uh, those all things that is bad right yeah makes sense so and and people are being addicted of these things this day they do not know how to control when i have to uh, watch my so when i have to access social media when i have to close it when i have to work on my self development or work on my project when i have to not they are forgetting behind the this cell phone or social media those all pre- uh, no valuable work i don't think it's I think. people's problem for i honestly don't think because the algorithms are so beautifully designed these days that you cannot stop scrolling it's it's just the algorithms i mean they have understood what we like to see what we don't like to see so they're going to keep showing up so i don't mm-hmm. think it's a lot of like we need motivation to stop scrolling it's either you don't scroll like you don't use the app at all for a certain period of time and if you use you, you cannot stop so that is the thing it has nothing to do with us now it's completely ingrained the scrolling and watching videos thing because the thought that is put into breeding this algorithm is so beautiful like i don't know how to say that yeah mm-hmm. but yeah i kind of agree with you on this one that we need to have a balance in a lot of things yeah i do think that's right But, yeah so yeah. let's think i am i i have also uh, you know uh, imbalance but mostly i try to uh, uh watch the things on you know on my cell phone related to my audio book as i already mentioned okay mm-hmm. uh, podcast but somehow i have a uh, you know a uh, uh, craving of checking whatsapp mm-hmm. okay i have got any message from my client or let me say any uh, notification so even i i read books okay after every 15 minutes uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes uh, i check my you know whatsapp how i got received message or not so i think uh, and on the other hand if i will not keep my, um, cell phone with me then i i sometimes i ha- i, I fi- figure it out the meaning of uh, because while reading books you find a lot of what you do not know what is meaning of that words mm-hmm. right so i take the help of google 
and once i open google and uh, uh, and search for that meaning of that uh, vocabulary i think uh, then i my intention goes to let's check once again the whatsapp have i received any message or not mm. so i think uh, i'm unable to control myself but i try to control okay less 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 using the social media and let's see <laughs> i uninstalled instagram for a uh, for like few weeks and my mind was so peaceful so peaceful like now i don't feel like uh, scrolling on instagram so sometimes is you need to take a break yeah it's very hard yes, to go away from these applications but once we are there it's very peaceful yeah interesting yeah and but true, we cannot true. uninstall said, yeah. whatsapp like no matter what whatsapp we cannot uninstall there are so many yes, I, important I'm into business yeah. Yeah. yeah i'm into business mm-hmm. and my, i have a, a, a you know group uh, of my clients and whenever mm-hmm. i have to leave message and uh, any kinds of information i leave or they have to uh, take a permission for leave so they uh, you know send me message so i can't uninstall uh, my whatsapp but however i have instagram account i am into fitness and this the people are you know promoting their fitness class and and their fit, uh, fitness program on social media so obviously i even i cannot on those instagram youtube i have a youtube channel also uh, regarding fitness and uh, clapping also but however i try to control using less and less this you know application yeah like now what can we do like it is a part of our life now i'm so mm-hmm, sorry mm-hmm. to cut you off but is it okay if we come to the feedback part and if we have time we'll yeah, continue yeah, sure. talking <laughs> so i had a lot of fun talking to you the pace at which you are talking is really nice it's not too fast it sometimes it is a little fast but overall it's good good job on that you were changing paces while talking that's great uh the voice modulation is at a really nice place so even that is going on really well uh coming to your english you are using very nice words today like craft admire compliment i feel like you're trying to use a lot of uh, you know exotic words and all like trying to specify so even that is going on really well so good job on that there is a lot of energy which is great like you bring the positive Thanks. vibes and all so that is going on really well uh coming to the sentence structure i don't have any negatives for you as such because you're doing quite well in that you're able to form the sentences and all really well there are just small small things that you can work on if you would like i would suggest or of course uh, yeah. yeah 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 one right so uh, sometimes you are interchanging don't and then so that shouldn't happen now try to work on that if possible secondly uh, we don't say grace of god it's god's grace that is the phrase this is something that i grew up listening to i'm not sure just check it out once if possible we say by god's grace god. yeah uh okay. and thirdly uh, i don't know how to say this please don't take it personally but uh, no go ahead uh, let me let me guess you are talking about my mpi no that's not an okay. issue don't worry not that uh, when i watch youtube videos there is a certain tone in which youtubers talk in and that seems very aggressive because the part where i am living people talk in a little softer tone so if you want to gather pan india audience try to change the tone sometimes in between like try to experiment with the voice modulation or tone if possible because your tone is really energetic and nice but it's something like initially i thought like uh, am i being rude to you or something like that so please don't mind it is something like i would like to say yeah <laughs> but overall everything is going on really well so no negatives for you mm-hmm. as such yeah if you have any questions or doubts or anything you would like to say go for it we still have a lot of time left mm, no and uh, i i don't have any question and so how did you learn your english how how could you suggest mm-hmm. me how we can i was in a convent school so that was a privilege that i had so i didn't okay. have to put a lot of efforts for it yeah so uh, there are so many friends okay they are from convent school english medium school still they can't speak i don't know why <laughs> uh, really yeah yeah most of the uh, 
student I, I my student also they are you know they have enrolled in already in convent school for many seven years six years but still they get they could not speak proper 